are here with Deaconess Marquita Jones. Thank you so much for spending a few minutes with us today. Um, let's get right to it. How long have you been a member at First Calvary? I have been a member at First Calvary, it'll be 24 years in July. That's awesome, wow, okay. And you were a part of the young adult ministry in what we're gonna call its heyday. <laughs> so um, what drew you to the young adult ministry? Because even though you were a young adult, you didn't necessarily have to join the young adult ministry, so. Um, what drew me to the young adult ministry was the, uh, we, we were energetic and just ready for do ministry. We, we had Friday night lives. We would go out together. Um, the choir time, you know, all the laughter that we, we shared. Um, we prayed. We had some sad times, but it was just like a family atmosphere. That's good. That's good. So tell me about uh, a little more detail on some of those good memories that you have about uh, things that happened in the young adult ministry. Well, one, I do remember we had like a step team. One of the Friday Night what? Lives we had, we had the t-shirts, we had the camouflage. We, of course, we had a t-shirt for everything. Oh, yeah. So, um, but we, we would, the workshops were really, really great. Um, we would do outings, like I said, um, dance and just laugh and, um, you know, just pick on one another. So <laughs> it, was, it was all in love. That's good. That's good. Um, what is your prayer for young adult ministry in the future at First Calvary? Um, my prayer is one that they will return when they leave and go off to college, um, that we have things set up for them even before they leave to go to college. But still, when they come back, that they would um, like for financial stability for them to show them how to you know manage themselves as they mature for debt um, for to show them that they can have fun be saved and have fun and and as a whole that they don't have to hang out on the corner or go to the clubs or whatnot that we will have things that the church will be open and open-minded to some of their um, ideas just because they're young adults and they think different doesn't mean that they're gonna take Christ out of it, but we welcome them with open arms and that we um, just interact with them and, and learn some things that they could probably teach us, not just us teaching them. That's good, that's good. Um, one last question. Why First Calvary? Why are you a member at First Calvary Baptist Church? Well, when my husband and I, Fred Jones Sr., when we first came to First Calvary, um, we had come from a broken church where our church had split. And so when we first visit the warmth, the family atmosphere, people just um, just loved on us and they didn't have to receive us because we've been to some churches visiting where it's like, OK, you're a visitor and it's that coldness. But um, I have been here at that particular time, like five or six months, and my mother had just passed her cancer. And the church just opened their hearts and poured out to us, and I was just overwhelmed with that. So um, that really, really showed me what type of people that were at First Calvary. It wasn't a, just a show that over the last 20 some years that they continued to show their um, warmth and heart for the people, so. That's great, that's good. Is there a person that you specifically remember as a young adult? Uh, d tell me some names of some people that you remember that poured into you as a young adult here. Um, one um, person always sticks out is um, Miss uh, Juanita Montgomery. Mm -hmm. She um, is now gone on to glory, but she had a heart that just would just, Marquita, it's okay, you know, I'm going to show you how to do this and do that. Even when I became a deaconess, there's another person, Miss um, Hattie Townsend, who's gone on to glory. Um, I remember so well, um, she was so willing to help me with um, getting a hat. I wasn't a hat wearing person, but she did. She brought me this little lace doily, <laughs> which I thought was gonna kill me that Sunday to wear. But 
my 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 one of my closest um, um, persons right now, Cynthia J. Riola, and she peeked through the side door <laughs> and rescued me and brought me a nice hat. So, yeah. but you had um, um, those people, Miss Montgomery, Miss um, Townsend, Mom Bowling, who. Um, like I said, have gone on to glory. They were some of the pillows in the church that really stuck out to us as a, um, a young adult family and really tried to navigate, help us navigate in the community and in this church. What words of wisdom or nuggets would you give to this group of young adults that's coming into First Calvary now? Um, I would say, come on in. Join in and just get involved. The young adult ministry cannot be what you envision it to be if you don't get involved. And so you have to come with your ideas and just um, just talk with the new pastor, Pastor Lavern, because he has a, a big heart and just come in and sit down with him. He's an easy um, go person and just let us know what you want from us as we grow. We just need for you to come in and just get involved and um, help the church just blossom again. That's good. Thank you so much, Deaconess Marquita Jones, with your beautiful hair. <laughs> we appreciate you for spending some time with us and giving us some memories about the young adult ministry here. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Anytime.